Hi, welcome to Course Mechanics of Civil Engineering Structures. Today, we are going to learn Topic 1, Introduction to Mechanics of Structures. At this end of this topic, students should be able to understand significantly, the basic knowledge of mechanics of structures in civil engineering. Before we go any further, let's get to know some terms in this topic. What is the definition of mechanics? Mechanics, is a studies of moving objects, which forces that cause movements. The object will move, when there is a load applied onto it. What is a structures? Structure, is a system of joints of structural members, designed to support loads or forces stably and to remain in shape. Therefore, structural mechanics, is a study of structural characteristics and behavior, when loads are applied. Structure in Civil Engineering Structure is a form or shape, such as building, bridge, dams and walls, which are designed to resist any applied loads, without losing its own strength capacity, and any appreciable deformation. A building structure, consists of the following component. Roof, beam, column, slab, wall and foundation. Now, let's look at the type of external and internal forces. External force, is a load applied to a structures, which causes a reaction to counterbalance the structure. Internal force is a force that exists in the structural member, in response to the applied or external loads. This force acts in opposite direction of the external forces. Both external and internal forces, always exist in pairs and they can be in tension or compression form. Now, Let's go further on the first types of external and internal forces. Axial force is a forces that act 90 degrees to the cross section of the body. The direction of these forces, can act either in tension or compression. Axial force is classified as the external force. This force, consists of tension force which is a pulling or stretching force, that cause the object to elongate. While compression force, is applied to the outside of an object that pushes inward, and cause the object to shorten its length. The second force is a shear force. What is a shear force? Shear force is a force, which acts parallel to a surface. It causes a shear deformation to the object. For example, this force is can be seen on the connection of load-bearing bolts and rivets. Shear force is classified as internal force. Next, is bending moment. Bending moment, is a force that deflects or bends an object. It's also a couple of moment of the same magnitude, but acting in opposite directions. It causes the member to bend, for example, a beam with a point load acting on it, will cause the beam to bend. This force is classified as the internal force. The last type of force is a torsion. It's also called as torque. Torsion is a force that tends to twist an object. When a structural member is loaded by two moments of the same magnitude, but in opposite directions, it will cause the member to twist, or produce rotation. The example of torsion is force in a shaft. This force is classified as the internal force. The purpose of the structures, is to transmit all the applied loads to the point of support systems, and ultimately through the foundations to the ground. Therefore, any structure is required to be strong, stable, or safe, and to function as it is intended to be. Now, let's look at the type of support in building structure. In building structure, there are three types of support. There are roller support, pin support, and fixed support. The types of support, are named just for idealization of the structure during its analysis. Roller support, is a support condition that resists movement perpendicular to the point of contact. This support develops one unknown support reaction. Usually, it reacts vertically. Pinned or hinged support, is a support condition, that can resist forces and prevent movement, both in horizontally and vertically, but it does not prevent rotations. The fixed support, is a support which does not permit movement or rotation, of the joining elements in any direction. 
This support develops three unknown support reactions, including a vertical and horizontal component, and a resisting moment. Before we end this topic, let's test your knowledge and understanding on this topic, by answering the short quiz given. Good luck! If you have any question regarding this topic, please do not hesitate to ask me. Thank you for your attention.